Hey everyone, Angry Honey Badger here with more tips and advice for Season 5. Season 5 objectives, minions, and global buffs hold in some respects more importance than in past seasons. With drastic changes to dragon, baron, and turrets, the importance of controlling objectives is the difference between a win and a loss. Let's take a look at these changes and some important factors to consider while fighting for, controlling, and using them. Let's start off with dragon. No longer granting global gold to your team when killed, it only grants the player with the killing blow 25 gold. More importantly are the Dragon Slayer buffs your team receives each time you kill Dragon. There are 5 levels of the Dragon Slayer buff. Dragon's Might with 6% attack damage and ability power gained. Dragon's Dominance with 15% damage to minions and monsters. Dragon's Flight giving 5% movement speed. Dragon's Wrath, granting 15% damage to towers and buildings. And the final stage, Aspect of the Dragon, that doubles all previous bonuses and your attacks burn for 150 true damage over 5 seconds. This stack only lasts 180 seconds before returning you to 4 stacks. With increasing buff stats throughout the game, controlling Dragon has become more important. One thing to make sure you are careful when killing an early Dragon is the new attacks from Dragon. Dragon's basic attack deals 50% splash damage in an off-centered circle close to the main target. Be careful not to stack up on the champion tanking Dragon, as you'll take unnecessary damage letting the enemy team find openings to pounce in and kill you and steal the Dragon. Next, turrets are an objective that a lot of people neglect. However, they are what I think can be the most important. Turrets give you map control, pressure, and robs the enemy team of safe places they can be. Take into thought that if you have their tier 1 towers, the enemy's safest place is their tier 2 towers, which gives you more vision over their jungle, river, and objectives like Baron and Dragon. It's important for junglers to help push the lanes and take towers. If you see a mid lane roam to top, you have two choices. Do you follow or take their tower? Neither one is an absolute always right answer, however you need to use your best judgment. Taking a tower can open up more pushing, more overall objectives, and gives you more places to ward. Now onto defending towers. We see a lot of junglers do camps instead of defending towers. This is just ultimately a bad call. Even though you might get one stack or a little extra gold, protecting your side of the map is the most important thing you can do. You do not want to lose vision, control, and overall objectives. This brings us to Baron. Baron has changed to spawn at 20 minutes now in Season 5 instead of 15 minutes in previous seasons. This adds a 5 minute window of time to focus on gathering more map control and objectives outside of Baron. Baron grants a buff called Hand of Baron. It now gives 40 attack damage and ability power which scales with game time. And now brings you new advances to your minions. Hand of Baron grants 90% of the average movement speed of nearby champions to minions. They cannot be slowed and have 75% damage reduction to AoE, damage over time, and persistent effects. This is a big deal. Quickly being able to clear minions to prevent a team from pushing with Baron buff is now much harder. The melee minions get 50% movement speed when they're near enemy minions or turrets. They grow in size, get 75 attack range, 75% reduced damage versus champions and minions. They also get 30% damage reduction versus turrets. Range minions get 20 attack damage, 50% missile speed, and 100 attack range. Cannon minions receive 600 attack range, 50 attack damage, but their attack speed is cut in half. They also have 200 AoE damage when attacking and 2 times damage to turrets. The super minions get 25% attack speed and 50% movement speed within 800 units of enemy minions and their turrets. On top of all of that, Hand of Baron also reduces recall by 4 seconds, and when you recall successfully, you get healed for 50% of your champion's maximum health and mana instantly and gain 50% movement speed for 8 seconds. For all these new buffs, Baron hurts more now and does more than just a puddle of damage on the ground from time to time. This makes it more risky to do Baron without properly pushing the enemy team away. This is an end of game objective. After you've pushed some towers down and have gotten a few dragons, after you get Baron, it's all about pushing. The amount of global buffs your team gains is ludicrous and should be taken advantage of to the fullest. Go back to base, buy an elixir, and make the final siege to win your team the game. Thanks for watching and be sure to tune in for more tips and strategies in the future.